the first part to any good taper is to find ice cream. So that is what we are going to do. Got my ice cream, went for salted caramel and butter and vanilla. And it is delicious. Ice cream is that good that I spilt it all down myself like an absolute animal. Okay, so the race is one week today, 50k, mainly uphill, and I've got up at 6am, which is very early, but it's nice and light outside, and I'm about, well, in the middle of scoffing a massive bowl of porridge before I head down the road to do one of my last sessions before the race. So today I've got 16k tempo and I found a flattish bit of road so I'm just going to go up and down that um, all morning and hopefully beat most of the heat of the day although it probably will get a little bit toasty towards the end of the run but yeah I tried to do this run a couple of weeks ago and it was like 32 degrees and I couldn't do it so <laughs> hopefully I am a bit more heat acclimatized now and it is cooler so don't know why I sound so croaky either sorry <coughs> so yeah taper is on breakfast is on running will be on soon I'm not entirely sure why but I always get a bit nervous before these sessions I think it's just when you know you have a a pace to hit you're like ah oh, can I do it so I guess we'll see soon but I've got a nice 20 minute jog warm up I've just done my drills down to where my 2k bit of flat road is then I'm gonna go up and down that for 16k and then a lovely 20 minute jog home up a hill which I'm not looking forward to already tough I think I managed to hit the pace for the first half and, and then it all just went to shit a little bit and I couldn't hold on which was a little bit disappointing but oh, I'm covered in salt <laughs> Um, yeah, a bit disappointing, but can't win them all. Um, so, yeah. Session's done. One week to go until we race, let's hope. Race day is better than that. Just got caught by the level crossing. Could run up and down this hill, but can't be bothered. Sounds like the train is on the way anyway. So, just finished my run in the pool with my smoothie. <laughs> Got bananas, berries, OTE super protein and some ice in here today. So yeah, with taper week, just really trying to be on top of my nutrition. I tried to be normally anyway, but basically as soon as I finished any run this week I am going to get a smoothie in and then just keep on topping up the carbs all week to make sure my glycogen stores have as much glycogen in them as possible come next Sunday because I'm going to need every little bit of help I can get for running 50k uphill and I'm also not going to stay in the sun too long so just going to stay in here drink that read my book for five minutes and then probably have to go chill inside because if I stay out here I'm probably just going to get sunburnt. <laughs>
We like this part of the run. We're on this pretty cool dirt road. And then in a minute, we end up going around and then up and down these bumpy hills, which I think looks a little bit like <laughs> the Loch Ness Monster or a camel or just some hills in Tuscany. You can choose. coaster of a road although the real one comes tomorrow <laughs> that's where we were not that long ago over by that house cool isn't it run done five more runs until race day just walking home because I ran a little bit slower today so didn't quite make my loop um, look at these little cars <laughs> loads of the guys cut about in these <laughs> how cool are they they're like little go-karts they sound like go-karts and I'm pretty sure I can run quicker than them um, but yeah it's quite cool that most people around here cut about in those <laughs> right home smoothie pool oh no i've got to do s and c home s and c smoothie pool one of the key things that i'm doing with my taper is eating this is some sort of onion, garlic, tomato, peas, tuna, pasta, concoction, and tastes all right. I made enough sauce to eat it for the next four days, so that is pretty much what I'll be doing. Um, but yeah, this is my lunch. Lots of pasta. Getting involved. Tastes good. It is bloody warm though, so it's actually quite hot to eat hot food, but you know, needs must. Would you like to see some proper glamour? I'm sweating my feet before I put my socks on. So it begins. The white road. I think it should be called the White Roller Coaster. And we start with a lovely 10% hill. <laughs> time to go up. <laughs> the last time I ran up this hill, there was a couple of cyclists cycling up it. And bless them, one of them fell off his bike because it was a bit too steep and he's trying to go around a corner. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have a bike to fall off and I hope I can run the whole way to the top. <sighs> this hill is so steep but I can run up it. So I'm taking that as a win. done it is hot now <laughs> sweating from my eyeballs once again and we now have four runs to race day okay it's all about nutrition this week post run smoothie going in, protein powder, random apricot, 
raspberries, ice, banana. Okay, let's make it up. Ta-da! Banging! Mm. So nice and cold. <laughs> Just getting ready for today's run with some anti-chafe. Um, today I have got 80 minutes moderate, so running at 420 pace, 420 minutes per K. I think that's about seven minute miling, something like that. Um, and yeah, there's a nice 10K loop. So I'm gonna do that a couple of times, but we'll do some drills and stuff before I get started. And then, yeah, this is like the last hard run um, before the race. And I've got up early to do it because it's cooler so it's quite nice it's about 23 degrees at the moment and it feels cold so i'm taking that i'm sure by the end of this run it will be 35 again but for now it is cool so i am gonna get on with it so i can get back and lie on the sofa session done covered in flies I actually got about most of them off me but absolutely minging um I wonder how many I swallowed when I've got that many on me. <laughs> Run was pretty good though. Um, found it pretty comfortable, which was nice. It's much cooler today, so that definitely helps. And yeah, nothing else to report. I actually finished about a kilometre down the road um, and then just walked it back in to the car. So quite nice just to slowly come back here. And now, it's time to go home, do a little bit of yoga, have my smoothie, and then I think an afternoon nap is definitely gonna be on the cards today. Morning. So today on the cards, 60 minutes easy with some hill sprints, um, just some strides up a hill, nothing too steep about five percent um normally do about six to eight of those i think i'm gonna do six today and yeah legs are feeling all right i love running past these olive trees <laughs> gonna miss that anyway <laughs> legs are feeling good run today two more runs to go and then race day so, keeping it nice and easy, it's about 25 degrees at the moment, so not too hot yet. First K down, <laughs> and got this lovely little hill to contend with now. Run done, that was all right. Nothing special, nice and easy. Tick the legs over, sprints felt good. Two runs to race day. I am just finishing up a little bit of work, getting the strength and conditioning sessions all uploaded onto the website, which is exciting. And having a bit of dinner, a bit of multitasking and just finished packing up everything to go back into my car tomorrow because tomorrow I am driving up to where the race is going to drive the race route um, and then yeah staying up there for three nights two nights before the race and one night after so yeah I know it's bad to eat and work but I just want to tidy these last little little bits up and then I can turn my computer off and I don't have to look at it until next week which is a delight so yeah just gonna crack on last little bits to do and then I am done for the day 
just came out to do my run and forgot a very important piece of equipment. I'll watch. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not that good to figure out how long a run takes. So back up I go, back up the stairs to get my watch. Got my watch. <laughs> so out on today's run, I've chosen a flat route because I'm going to get enough hills on Sunday to last me a while. And today I have got 40 minutes easy with some strides at the end. So we'll do those on the way back in on this run. Um, probably do six strides, stretch the legs out a bit, turn them over. So yeah, had a really weird dream last night. Didn't have a very good sleep. Dreamt that the room I was in was closing in on me. <laughs> Absolutely no fucking idea what that's about. But that was fun. Um, and then kept on getting paranoid that there was someone in the room that wasn't. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. Um, hopefully tonight I'll get a better night's sleep and won't be paranoid that I'm in some sort of closing cube. And it is hot today. It feels like it needs to rain. You know, that really horrible muggy feeling. So, there are a lot of clouds cutting about. They look like rain clouds, so hopefully there'll be a bit of rain relief later on. I love it how everyone here has these <laughs> vineyards, <laughs> just wherever they can grow grapes. I'm assuming it's to make wine, not to eat grapes. <laughs> um, run nearly done. It was good, felt super easy. Legs felt good on the stride outs, which was good. And yeah, one run until race day. Oh, exciting. So this on Google is a supermarket. <laughs> There's loads of veggies growing in there, but I haven't quite figured out what the protocol is to actually get some. Um, but yeah, supermarket, <laughs> straight from the ground. Oh, sweating from my eyeballs. <laughs> that is sweat from my back. How disgusting is that? That is how hot it is. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to do with this, but I am now gonna make a smoothie and what I try and do, ooh, where can little GoPro go? Um, there you go. So what I try and do in um, the two days before a race is that I actually weigh out all of the carbs that I'm having um, just to make sure that my carb loading is on point. So I go for um, 550 grams of carbohydrates. That's the aim for today and tomorrow. Um, and tomorrow I will try and get more of that in towards the first half of the day um, and then slow it down in the second half. But it does mean trusty scales and you have to kind of weigh everything. But I did it for Seville Marathon and found that carb loading like this for me and um, the gels that I used on the race meant that my nutrition was pretty much on point. Um, didn't have any crashes in energy. So if you want to try it, if you've got a big race, I would suggest anything kind of marathon and above. You want to aim for 10 grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight. So I weigh, I'm roughly 55 kilos. So 55 times 10, 550, that's kind of the ballpark that I'm aiming for. Um, 
it is quite hard um, to get that in and the heavier you, you are the more carbohydrates you are going to need but a couple of things that I do is that I will have orange juice throughout the day it's quite an easy way um, to get carbs um, into your diet and also snack on sweeties so sweets are basically just sugar there's not a lot of well there's pretty much no fat um, or protein in them so you're just getting that full-on sugar bang so sweeties and orange juice for the win so started the drive to head up to where the race is very annoyingly i've taken the wrong turn so i'm gonna have to do this toll manoeuvre twice which is just really irritating um but yeah heading up to where the race is um, and then i'm actually going to go and drive the race course which will be exciting introdurre il denaro o la tessera two seconds. I think that card machine's broken so luckily I had some old cash <laughs> in the wallet. Okay let's turn around and do that again. Just got here had to walk up loads of stairs with my bag. This is where I'll be staying. Little bedroom. Some sort of bed thing. Bathroom, kitchen, and I might just stand in the fridge for a minute to try and cool off before I go and find the course. Oh my God, it's hot. <sighs> so this is exciting. This is where the race is going to end on Sunday. And yeah, it is absolutely stunning the route is <laughs> savage <laughs> i mean i knew i was doing a 50k uphill race but i don't think i quite expected the gradients of the uphills that i was gonna have to tackle so i'm gonna have to channel the 10 mile uphill tempo that i did in tenerife at the beginning of the year that's what i'm going to be thinking about as i go up these hills there is a little downhill um, in the middle but it doesn't last for long um, the beginning savage the end savage but it's nice and cool up here 21 degrees it's very green which is quite nice and makes a nice change from being in um, Siena where it was kind of dusty and wheaty and dry so yeah nice to see all these lovely green trees How cool is this bridge? Slightly scary because it's bouncing up and down as I walk up it, walk across it. I did think I was going to have to go across this in the race, but I think it's just the walking route of the race that comes across here. But oh, this is minging. 
It's like wobbling <laughs> from side to side. Yeah, this is a bit scary. Not the greatest fan of heights. Don't know why. Ooh, there's a rather nice looking lake down there. I wonder if you can go swim in that. Yeah, just a bit mad. It's getting a little bit windy, so it's starting to wobble. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and hold on. <laughs> this is where the race is gonna start tomorrow. Um, I've got a 40 minute run to do today, so I'm gonna actually run the first 4K of the race, and then I'm gonna run to pick my number up and then walk back home again bit of multitasking but hopefully it won't be like chaos like this tomorrow and the good thing is that I am about a 20 second walk from my Airbnb winning the first part of the race it's a very gradual uphill it's like two percent um, so I reckon we can put the hammer on down here a little bit tomorrow but it is not going to last long because the hills we are climbing are already looming in the distance. So it's going to get tasty pretty quickly. That is where we are headed tomorrow. Um, about 3k in now and it's about to start climbing. And then, yeah, for about four hours tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> going to be going up through those mountains until I hit a ski resort. It's going to be fun. <laughs> well, it's going to be interesting at least. <laughs> run done, zero runs to go, and I'm here at race registration to now collect my number. Getting excited now. little bit of hoka love thanks to them they got me in the race because there wasn't any places left so thank you very much <laughs> for sneaking me in although I might be cursing you a little bit tomorrow <laughs> that's it no more runs number collected nearly time to fly <laughs> and race up a mountain right tomorrow we go